Hello everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Tuesday, July 30th, 2019. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Yes, this is not specific to anything. This is not sign specific. This is not love, career, whatnot, whatever specific. This is literally just what spirit wants to discuss with us at this moment or today, yeah? Also, keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid, all right? So just because this is a message that's coming through for Tuesday, July, or, well, this is a message that's coming through on Tuesday, July 30th, it doesn't mean it has to resonate on this day. Whenever you watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you at that time, yeah? Also keep in mind that we could very well, well, we're, we definitely could be talking about things from the past that you may be dealing with now that are surfacing at this moment, yeah? Um, I have gotten the first seven, yeah, the first seven of the Zodiac readings for the month of August up and ready to go. If you haven't checked those out yet, please go ahead and do so. If you go to my page, you'll find a playlist right on the front of my page, on like my homepage here on YouTube, <clears throat> that has all of the readings for August 2019 that are up so far. I will be getting out the rest. Um, I should be able to get them out. Yeah, before the first. I should. We'll see. But I should be able to get them out before the first, okay? Um... Um, 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 I thought there was one more thing I wanted to say, but now I don't remember. So I'm going to have to do it another time. Anyway, so I don't really have much of a pre-shuffle here for you guys. Now, I'm using the vice versa deck here, all right? And so there are images all over the place, okay? So it's interesting. When I was channeling the energies for today, I saw yellow which was nice, clarity, understanding, uh, truth, honesty, integrity. These are all things that I'm getting, messages that I'm getting from this color right now. Um, it's also the color of your solar plexus, which is your willpower, your drive to live, I'm, I'm hearing, your inner fire. But then, as I was feeling through that energy, the color orange came up which is your sacral chakra, which is your emotional body, which is your emotions, your intuition, your feelings, your flow, and all that stuff. And I was immediately reminded of the Sagittarius reading. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, I even, I mean, even if, <laughs> even if just for the sheer, sheer fact that you, maybe you don't have the Sagittarius in my chart, or in your chart, but you wanna, I, I don't know, hear me cry, <laughs> You can go ahead and watch that reading because it was super, super emotional. Um, it was so emotional that it actually did, it did make me cry. Um, and that's the third time that's happened to me since I started doing readings um, <clears throat> professionally. Only, this is only the third time. Once was with, was with one of my best friends. The second was a... Um, a recorded reading that I channeled for someone and sent, and it made me cry. I was I was crying in the middle of it. And then now the third is this Sagittarius reading. Um, but I'm okay. So I'm hearing truth, honesty, integrity, clarity. These are all. There, there's definitely some clarity coming through. So if you resonated with that reading, um, you know there's definitely some clarity coming through here. There's a victory, a and it's funny because. I stopped, I stopped, I was shuffling when I, before I started, um, and then I stopped and I sneezed and I was like, you know what, I need to just stop right here because this is actually resonating with what I was feeling in the energies, the yellow and the orange. You have the six of wands here. Victory, overcoming obstacles, you know, maybe even being recognized. For some of you, if you did resonate with that reading, <clears throat> Um, there could be some sort of recognition that could come from you standing up for yourself or you asserting yourself or you uh, recognizing your own struggle and not allowing it to be swept under the rug, at least as far as you're concerned. Now, granted, you can't do anything about what other one, anyone else has to say, but as long as you honor your truth, you know, recognition could come which could bring a lot of great healing and underneath that you have 
the hermit, all right? This is identifying oneself, knowing oneself, recognizing your inner light. Specifically, what I'm getting with the hermit is recognizing um, your inner, your struggle, okay? And not allowing it to be, again, swept under the rug. I mean, this guy is holding a lantern here. What's the other side of this card? Okay. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and it's so crazy because underneath the hermit is the Ten of Pentacles. To me, the Ten of Pentacles is a lesson learned, completion, um, coming to the end of a cycle. For some of you, that does have to do with narcissistic abuse. Um, but this is understanding yourself, going within, finding, uh, 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 recognizing your inner struggle, finding your inner struggle, finding your inner light also, and allowing yourself to achieve greatness through what it is you have experienced in your life so far. I just saw 555 five, five on the counter, all right? Now, I have, I have no idea. I don't know if that's going to resonate with, um, you know, what else comes through here today. But I wanted to stop there just because that message was really important. It felt like it was really, really important. If you haven't watched that Sagittarius video and you're just feeling nosy and curious and also you want to, you know, laugh at me while I'm crying, <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead and watch it. Um, and it, you won't be, it, it's not hard to find. I mean, it is the Sagittarius reading, but also it's titled, Damn Sag, You've Made Me Cry. <laughs> um, but I was, but you know, honestly, part of the reason why I did start crying during that video, during that video was because, you know, I kind of identify with that a little bit. Like, I know exactly what that feels like. I, like, I, ha I wasn't actually like physically abused or anything like that. Um, but you know, I grew up being, I, I was the, I was the weird kid. I was the gay kid. You know, I grew up being basically accosted for my sexuality and all that stuff. So I totally get it. I, I mean, I, I highly resonate with that, but for some, you know, it was a really serious issue, but Hey, you survived. You're still here. And that's really all that matters. All right. You're still here. You're still alive. You still have a chance to thrive, strive and thrive if you're not doing so already. Like it is your, it's not over. It's not over. You are still surviving. And I commend you for that. Thank you for still being here. Yes. Okay, guys. So with that said, let's just go ahead and get into today's reading. I'm gonna shuffle this up a little bit just to give us, oops, oh boy. Okay, well we have a flyer, wow. Okay, we have a few. We have the world, the eight of swords, and the hanged man in all in reverse. Everything's in reverse right now. Um, I'm getting freedom with this. The hanged man in reverse, the eight of swords, and the world. There's a sense of freedom here, but I'm not really gonna. I'm not gonna go deep too deep into that because I want to get into the actual reading for today. But there's definitely a sense of freedom um, and clarity for some of you. That reading has really helped you close, bring that closure that you needed, in order to really complete the cycle, because you might have been stuck in that. Um, I want to say like limbo for a while, not really sure how to handle it, not really sure if you would ever be able to let it go. And if that's the case, if that reading did help you that much, then number one, I'm incredibly honored. Um, but number two, you know, that's excellent, good for you. Oh, yes, wow, the Four of Wands, all right? Holy shit, the Four of Wands is here, which means stability, this is a celebration. Now, you've gotten over that hurdle, Okay, but, um, you know, it's not time to rest on your laurels. Like, there is this definitely cause for celebration, but hey, you know, there's still work to, do work to be done. Like I said, you're not dead yet, okay? You're still here, which is a great thing. And then you have the King of Wands in reverse. <laughs> the King of Wands in reverse, but the Queen of Wands upright, all right? Um, uh, I just heard the patriarchy, but, um, you know, the feminine here is rising above. You know, no more, no more allowing to be abused. And now this isn't necessarily, excuse me, guys, I'm going to sneeze. Or not. Okay. Um, now this doesn't have to mean that there aren't masculines out there that may have dealt with this too. 
Um, but it's just the, the controlled aspect, the controlling aspect of whatever that was for you is falling. And the more free flowing and compassionate aspect is rising, okay? All right, cool. One more shuffle. Okay, here we go, guys. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Tuesday, July 30th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, so yeah, the, the main focus, I'm gonna give this five shuffles, guys, but the main focus of today's energy is orange. I wanted to say green also, but orange is for the, the sacral chakra. Uh, green is for the heart chakra. So there's a lot of cleansing and healing going on within the emotional body and the heart. The sacral chakra is also the seat of sexuality for us. So for some of you, there's some clearing and cleansing of um, ad aversion towards sexuality, um, tra sexual trauma. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One. Two. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, let's try that again. <laughs> Tuesday, July 30th, 2019 here. Yep. Three. <clears throat> Four. And five. So for those of you that are watching, I, I, I'm feeling, I'm being guided to say this. For those of you that are watching this long after July 30th, 2019, and you want to know, and you're wondering what reading I'm talking about, it's the Sagittarius reading for August. It's titled, Damn It, Sag, You've Made Me Cry. <laughs> okay. Just, I just want to put that out there. I was feeling guided to say that. Alrighty, kids. Let's see what we've got for today, Tuesday, August 30th. Not August 30th, I'm sorry, July 30th. <laughs> Tuesday, July 30th. That's enough right there. Wow, okay, here we go. We've got the Five of Swords with the Ace of Swords in reverse. The Ace of Swords is in reverse, the Five of Swords is upright. All right, um... So, Sag, you're getting a bonus reading here because <laughs> we're definitely talking about this today. We have the Seven of Swords in reverse, which is great. The Six of Swords, but also with the Four of Cups. Now, okay, um, this is somewhat troubling, but at the same time, it's not because of this Six of Swords, all right? Someone is moving forward. I just heard the agony of defeat. All right, there is an energy of defeatedness, being de feeling defeated here, and yet you really don't need to feel defeated, okay? Um, now, this could be an extension of the Sagittarius reading, Absolutely, but it doesn't have to be, all right? So even if you didn't necessarily resonate with the Sag reading for August, um, that doesn't mean that you, you can't resonate with this today, okay? But there is some, son of one, some sort of one-upmanship. Um, I'm hearing, I literally just heard, failed attempts at reconciling. Okay, so I'll get to that in a second, but there's a one-upmanship, there's a lose-lose situation, there's a, there's, there's, Pretty strong aggression here. Um, 
someone, yes, someone is standing their ground, sure, but what they're standing their ground against could really be very destructive, very self-centered. Um, oof, entitlement is what I'm hearing here. Also, I'm getting all of this from the Five of Swords. Now, some of you may have tried to reconcile with someone, tried to clear the air, tried to set the record straight, but it didn't work. Because underneath the deck here, you have the Ace of Swords, which is in reverse. There is a lack of truth, there's a lack of clarity, but what I'm feeling specifically is that someone is blatantly rejecting the truth the, of a situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nine of Cups just caught my, caught my attention down here. The Nine of Cups is in reverse. There was some sort of desire to reconcile, to, to, to hash it out, to close out the situation, and yet that didn't happen. Five, five, five on the counter again. That didn't happen, but that's because, okay. Well, for some of you, it has to do with conservatism because I literally just heard staunch conservatism again, and I just did a reading about that last week. Now, I'm not, I am not in any way trying to get political on this channel, all right? I, all I'm, I'm just the messenger, guys, okay? So, like, I'm not trying to tell you, I, I want nothing to do with politics, well, political debates to begin with. Like, I'm not trying to do that at all. So, when, when things like, you know, phrases like, uh, staunch conservatism come up it's really just channeling a message for someone that needs it i'm not trying to say what's right or wrong here but for some of you the reason why that reconciliation or that hash it out whatnot whatever didn't go well is because someone is still very rooted in their ways and that's them like that what i'm still not trying to say it's right or wrong i'm just, again i'm just the messenger here however however with all of that said guys you do have the Seven of Swords in reverse. And to me, this is recognizing the deception. I'm, there's a, even though, and even though the Ace of Swords is in reverse on the bottom of the deck here, I still feel like there's a lot of clarity that was gained. The Ace of Swords in reverse can speak of um, maybe denial. It can also speak of not speaking the truth, not seeing clearly, not knowing, not not having the information. It could even mean that in the some time in the future, you know, the information, the 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 whatever the realization is going to come through. It's just you don't have it quite yet. In this case, it does feel like a rejection of the truth, but that doesn't mean that you don't understand much more or much clearer how. I heard staunch. I just heard staunch, staunch conservatism again. That's going to resonate for someone. But you recognize it. Like this is totally a game recognized game situation. Even though you're not trying to play that game, you only know that game because you lived through that game. You don't try and play it. You've rejected that. But still, game recognized game. Like okay, no, I see you now. I get it. I totally, and, I, and that may not even be the right phrase, <laughs> game recognized game. If you don't know what I mean, I mean like, <clears throat> if you're not re familiar with that phrase, that means it's basically, I, I play this game too, so I see you, like I see, I, I see how you play because I play this too. And I'm not saying that you play it too, you might have for some time and now you're starting to recognize Boop, I don't want to play that game no more. Or because you've been in it for so long, you see it. You understand it. You know the high signs. You know the, the whatever. So you're able to recognize it, okay? For some of you, that is the right phrase. But for others of you, it's not necessarily, but it still has the same, a similar effect, all right? Um, now, because of that, though, Six of Swords, moving on. And this really just feels, this almost feels like especially for those of you that tried to reconcile and it didn't quite work out the way you wanted it to. Again, I just heard staunch conservatism again. I'm just the messenger, guys, <laughs> all right? Um, I, I, I'm kind of feeling like some of you are kind of moving forward, yes, but kind of with your tail between your legs. It's a really disappointing Four of Cups. It's really disappointing, all right? But understand... Understand that even though those cups have spilled, because in this in this deck, the, all the cups are spilled. All right, um, even though the cups have spilled, 
I mean, you still have an opportunity to move on and create something new. Again, you're not dead yet, all right? Your life is not over yet. So, sure, this is disappointing. But hey, create something new. Phoenix from the ashes risen, if you will. Yes? This is a good thing, go though, guys. This is a really good thing. And I want to let you know that if somebody is... Because I'm definitely seeing the aggressor standing here holding those swords. And the person that's like tried to reconcile, tried to heal, but is now moving forward. Yes, this is that person. All right? The defeated one. But I'm going to put that in air quotes. All right? Mm because somebody I'm this is not for everybody this is a pretty specific message but especially with this ace of swords in reverse whomever it is that I'm picking up on right now that is so staunchly rejecting the truth is going to get some sort of comeuppance because this right here this five of swords energy is a lose lose situation so you might be the one grieving right now but in the end they're really gonna get some karma. They're gonna, they're, I mean, and, and I'm not even trying to say that I'm, I'm not even trying to like put a hex on anybody on your behalf, whatnot, whatever. I don't do that shit, okay? I am not trying to get into that kind of drama. But also, there's karma to pay. Like, what goes around comes around, okay? You can't escape that. At some point, even if it's not even in phys like, like in lifetime, in their physical life, in this incarnation, once they pass on, they're going to have to face themselves. All right? So, I mean, I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> okay? All right. So now, why don't we... Why don't we get into the clarification then? Yeah, I'm gonna give this three shuffles. And honestly, the only thing I really wanna clarify here is this four of cups. And I wanna do it from a place of trying to help you guys get out of some sort of mourning. Now, it's officially the five of cups that represents mourning and all that, crying over spilt milk-ish. Um, that's interesting. But with the Four of Cups here, this is a card of unrequited love, um, boredom, disappointment. I am picking up disappointment, but if you look at this guy's face, I don't know how well you guys can see it, and please disregard my busted nail. <laughs> but if you guys, I don't know if you can actually see, but this guy doesn't really look all that sad. At least at this moment, I was look, I was like, well, that's weird. He doesn't look that sad. It's almost as if he's pleased. Um, for some of you, even though you may have dealt with three of wands is un uninteresting, even though, even though you may have dealt with, um, you know, you're dealing with the disappointment, the sadness, the, the loss, whatever that it, I, I almost don't feel like you're that upset about it, which is good, which is really good because I think. A lot of that has to do with the fact that you kind of see through all of this anyway, Ace of Swords. And also, I'm getting that you've been dealing with this on your own for so long that it's not, um, it's not, um, it's not anything new. Although there is a sense of closure in a way, in a weird way. <laughs> okay. But with the Three of Wands underneath the deck here, this is like you're on your path. And rightfully so. You're moving forward with your life. All right. So let's gain. Let's get some clarity. Let's get some understanding. Also, I want to direct this clarity in terms of like how to move forward in the best way possible. Yeah. Just, just some clarity, please, spirit. 
for this Four of Cups energy. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna give this one more pass. Yeah, all right. One more pass here. There it is. Thar, she blows. All right. There's, wow. All right, you guys, you really are on your path because the Three of Wands is underneath the deck again, okay? Um, I'm hearing, st I, okay. It's like a freaking broken record. I just keep hearing staunch conservatism, staunch conservatism. That is going to mean something for somebody. Woof. All right. All right. Yes. I like that a lot. Oh, we're going to get into that in a second. Um, we have the Page of Cups here, the Knight of Cups, Six of Cups, Two of Wands, King of Swords, and the High Priestess. Okay. So the first card that came out while I was um, channeling this 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 guidance here is the two of cups and that fell out on the seven of swords which is in reverse and the six of swords which is upright the reason why you are able to move forward the reason why you can be in this game recognized game energy is that you have stricken a balance two of cups you found union or a sense of unity within yourself you found some sort of sense of self-love here and it's more than just the ace of cups. It's the two of cups, okay? Which is, which is balance, harmony, all right? In the, and you found self-discovery which the, with the page of wands in the face of injustice with justice in reverse. So technically, even though whatever we're talking about here, whether you resonate with the sad, resonate with the sad's reading or not, and this is just like something completely extra or other, um, <clears throat> maybe you want to watch the Sag reading, even if you don't have Sagittarius in your chart. Anyway, um, whatever this situation was for you guys, I mean, it absolutely helped you find a greater sense of self, which would also be why you absolutely are on your path, Three of Wands, okay? Now, in terms of the Four of Cups here, you're going from, you're, you're going Page of Cups to the Knight of Cups to the Six of Cups, all right? So, number one, there is definitely some maturity, okay, happening here, or uh, growth happening, moving from the Page to the Knight. Um, there's also healing in terms of the past here with the Six of Cups. And the Page of Cups is also a dreamer energy, and all right? The Knight of Cups being, for me, a heart-centered energy, living with a more open heart, um, leading from the place of your heart. So I'm seeing that you're, it's almost as if you're allowing yourself to dream again. You're, you're opening, up, opening yourself up to more emotional connections. Um, and this is all in terms of the healing that's happening with the Six of Cups, Two of Wands, King of Swords, High Priestess, moving in a new direction, all right? Changing the way you see things. I'm hearing changing the, your frame of mind, seeing things from a, from a clear and concise point of view, but also following your intuition. Also, approaching... Um, approaching... The universe or life with a much more open mind. What I'm seeing with the King of Swords and the High Priestess is two things. One, you're working with your intuition, your higher self, and the universe in order to choose or, or move in a new direction, choose a new direction for you. Um, but also, I'm seeing this a strange alliance between the High Priestess and the King of Swords. So the High Priestess, it's almost as if you're trusting the universe more or at least you're willing to be guided by the universe more. There might, uh, there might be a little bit of skept skeptic skepticism here, but this is an interesting dynamic, King of Swords, High Priestess. It's almost as if you've come to this point of view where it's like, all right, universe, what's next? I see you, I see what you're doing here now. I get it. Bring it on. And yet, you're not really trying to be that, because I, did, I almost didn't even want to say, bring it on, <laughs> because that could be like, oh, word? Oh, it's like that. I, cool, bam, 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 you know, that kind of thing. But, <laughs> but you're not 
you're not going to that extreme. You're just like, you're ready for the next step. You're ready for the next challenge. Again, you're kind of saying to, I'm, I'm, <laughs> you're kind of saying to the universe in this, at, at this point, I game recognize game. I see you universe word. Let's do this. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really great. You guys, I'd okay. Look, look spirit. What is that? What is this? What is that spirit? All right. Um, Spirit keeps saying staunch conservatism. And they're saying we're, we're, we're repeating it for a reason. Okay, what, I'm going to pull some cards on that specifically. What is, I'm going to give this three shuffles. What is this staunch conservatism that you keep? Hmm. All right, last shuffle here. Let's see. Uh, this is just a special, this is like a special message here. Three of Cups. Okay, with the Three of Cups energy, I'm feeling like someone, there's like a, there's an energy of like ganging up on, ganging up on someone else. Strength in numbers. For some of you, the only reason Whomever these, now this, again, this is a specific message, but whomever these people were or whatever this situation was, the only reason they were able to get one over on you is because they had more numbers. You were, in, the, in a sense, the odd man or odd woman out. And even, and I'm feeling like there were people that were compassionate to you that kind of wanted to, you know, be on your side, but because of the social structure of your situation, they didn't want to go against the grain, and so they basically left you out to dry. Ugh, that's gross. All right, Spirit, what is this staunch conservatism here? What is the message surrounding the staunch conservatism that you keep mentioning to me? It's enough. The Queen of Pentacles. Wow! The Queen of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles underneath the deck. The, okay, and it's interesting. It's really, really interesting because that fell over here where someone went through a, a, a moment of... Or, or, an, uh, uh, oh, gosh. Someone gained some, some sort of self-discovery through injustice that they faced, right? And that has allowed you to be a way better provider, queen of pentacles. Number one, as it's, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't really matter. Even if you are more masculinely oriented, whether you're a man or a woman, it, woman, it doesn't matter because there is a sense of compassion, empathy, unconditional love, understanding, but also not willing to take any sort of shit from anybody, right? It's almost as if you've learned how to become a better wife and mother, sure, specifically for some of you. You've also learned how to just be more compassionate. There's, it, it, it's grounded you more too. It's helped you be much more well manifested. It's really interesting that it came through as the queen of pentacles. And I really feel like it's coming through as the queen of pentacles because of a sense of like, um, it's the compassionate, almost motherly type energy, but that doesn't mean that you have to want to be a mother or like or anything like that. It's just, there's a sense of deep understanding, okay, for people and their circumstances and yet not willing to take their shit any longer. This is very much a situation in which the Queen of Pentacles has turned her back. And if y'all are familiar with me, you know I say, once that Queen of Pentacles turns her back, man, good luck getting her to turn back around. All right? But it's through this, the Five of Pentacles, feeling left out in the cold, that you were able to find yourself and find a much stronger sense of self. Two of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Yes? Okay. Excellent. So we're going to move on. We're going to close the reading now. <laughs> four, four, four on the counter. 
Um, we're going to close the reading now, and I'm going to get our oracle card for the day. Best message, please, spirit, to close out this reading for, yep, we're ready. We're ready. All right. Best message, please, spirit, for today, Tuesday, July 30th, 2019. Oracle guidance, please, spirit, for our reading. There it is. All right, kids. Ah, okay. Card number 42, Goddess Hecate and Mika, Crossroad of Destiny. Also, 40 and 2 boils down to a 6. So that's harmony, compassion, balance, understanding. I just heard complete the process. I don't know what that means. It's going to be sad. That will resonate for someone out there. Here we go. Crossroad of Destiny. We bring you the empowerment of the crossroad of destiny. You are at a pivotal point on your life journey. This may be obvious to you with a potentially life-changing decision before you. Or you may not realize the impact that an apparently insignificant choice is going to have on your future. Either way, you are at a point where you can leave the past behind and chart your course for a new adventurous chapter to begin in your life. This is not something you need to be frightened of. It is a sign you are progressing on your path. The crossroad of destiny happens when you have mastered a cycle in your life and a new cycle is before you. It is an opportunity that you can take best advantage of by listening to your heart. There it is, you guys. So I'm going to leave it there. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.